Hello. 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 Um, I feel privileged to be here to play in front of you. Also to to show my culture to you and also to collaborate with your culture and see what we can come up with. Yeah. So I come from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Is my accent okay? It's okay. Or should I try to sound Indian? No. Is it okay? Okay. So um, I play my my first instrument is goma from my, my culture. And then I also play jembe. I play a vast of um, hand drumming instruments. And also I play bira marimba from my country. So I also make and uh, make, play, and also teach uh, instruments. So this drum is called jembe. I know most of you might, might be familiar with it. And it's from West Africa. West Africa, um, areas like Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea. And mostly, it, uh, it has two tones. Two tones that you, you can't struggle to buy. It will be bass and tone. And other tones require a specific technique to buy, like say the slap. But you can also find another tone close to the rim. So it's just say three basic tones. And then from that, you have a slap from here. And then that slap can be muted and be like this. And then there's another slap from here. Can be muted and be like this. So um, every note can be muted. You can have an open bass like. And then you can have it also like. This. You can have the tone as. You can have it as. Same for this step like I showed before. So now I'm just going to demonstrate a simple rhythm using the no uh, like the the strokes that I showed you. But for us also in Zimbabwe, we use uh, a tone called tap. A tap um, like when you play, there's a sound like this most of the time. And then for Zimbabwe, we accent that, that, that stroke and make it. So for example, I'll show you a bit with the bass and tap and tone. using bass uh, and tone and, and tap. You will notice that um, we make demarcations of each beat to make it four. I like four demo demarcations, like take a dimmy, take a dimmy. So for those, we, we use the tap every time we have that thing so that it, con it continues to give you the metronome in the head. And then you just accent different. So for example, you will check every time I'm doing this. And then after maybe six bars, you can put something like a fill. I'll start with the, what do you call a fill? There is another name that I have. Like, um,
Okay, like when Chamblers players are playing, and then there's something they do like tai, 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 comes after um, six bars, we put it, and then it takes just four or uh, two bars to complete it to be eight, eight, eight. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate for you. First, I'll show you the TIE, just simple one. So it will be. So it takes a, a space of one, two, three, You can orchestrate the TIE. Yeah. TIE, huh? Yeah, yeah. You can orchestrate the TIE. Changing from... And also instead of... You can flame the... See? So the second part you want... Okay. So I'll, I'll demonstrate. Show more. So, uh, another instrument is called Bira. This is a Bira Wuru. Like, uh, it means Bira, the biggest Bira. Not because of size, but because of its uh, duty. Because it's an instrument that is like a uh, used for, for ancestral worship it was used for ancestral worship before so it was like a sacred instrument so most of the times it's like it's strict like uh, what you do it, 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 it doesn't allow much improvisation but improvisation is to be like knowing how it's done from traditional so there are always uh, like um, a block like uh, there's a way you should improvise and then you, you can't go the other way or the distance will be lost. So this instrument you will see it's made from wood. This wood is called mokwa, mokwa or black wood in English they call it black wood. Or if it's African, African is like Dutch, they call it kiat. And then this wood is the wood used for making instruments in Zimbabwe because it has a lot of vibration. So it has uh, like metal rings, uh, like metal bars, but ring flattened by hitting with the hammer. And then we have different notes. So there's like a bridge here, and then all the notes vibrate from this bridge, leaving this bridge like a keyboard. Um, it has 24 notes, and then we use only the two thumbs term, and the right hand four finger. And then first we put um, this baby finger here, and then this plays all this, and this one plays one, two, three, and this one plays from beneath, underneath. I'll just demonstrate for you a song uh, called Mauro. Let's see, let's see this way. Oh, should I just play? Yes. Just play, okay.
this, this type of um, playing is also is a special way of singing. It's, it's so uh, it's like you're telling, but you're telling from Zimbabwe. We call it maonyera. So there's like three ways that you sing maonyera from the stomach and also from like a. Uh, uh, from the throat and also head voice. So I will just demonstrate using my own also. that we play. But mostly in Africa, there is much room for improvisation. That you find maybe in a group of six drummers, all of them don't, don't play the same way. Maybe a bit different way of playing, uh, like sticky. Maybe they say right, 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 left, left, right, right, right. But other one maybe can be playing head to head. Some can be tracking, you see. So I will just show you um, one rhythm from from Kini, called Shoshoni. Times comes with um, tribes that that sing and clap because, uh, uh, like maybe say a tribe from from my country. I'll show you something from from uh, a, a language that we speak in Botswana and Zimbabwe called Botswana. And also there are people like the original inhabitants of Southern Africa are the same people. The same people have their way of singing and their way. Of so maybe if I will show you like the clapping, you'll be like You can join me. Okay. 
it sounded like popcorn. <laughs> so maybe if we make it like one, compact, one. Composition in seven, in seven. How 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 we do the seven? Oh. No, right now you are doing seven bits uh, rhythm, right? Yeah. So do you play something in seven bits? Yes. Improvisation. Improvisation, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can you can clap. Okay. One, two, three. So there are a lot of rhythms that you have to do with rainmaking. So there are rhythms like, let me say, mafuwe. Mafuwe is like when when the clouds are there and then there is thunder and lightning, but there is no rain. So maybe if it continues for a month, there is a, then we play a rhythm called mafuwe. Also, there is another one called zota, mandi. It depends with the with the rich in that you are. So Mafue is a combination of many dramas. So for instance, one will be playing, it's a, in 12 eight, but we count it as one, two, three, four. So it will, it will be like a triple, one, two, three, 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 four, three, 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 So the first rhythm will be, ah, So 
uh, the other one also. One, two, three, four. So when 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 you listen from and when everyone is playing, because we'll be using different types of drums. To be like something to be so maybe you sh I invite you to come to Zimbabwe and see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the traditional instrument, but that, uh, within that part, you are ready? Or it is it three metal parts. Three this one. Yeah, this one's um, uh, improvisations from, from uh, what you say, like modification, adding accessories done by other chamber players uh, from earlier on. So that also, because uh, you, you notice that Maybe in percussion there will be something that's making like a shaker also. So also this can cover up for the shaker. Also to give a smear sound. You can, you can play it. It depends with that. Um, it depends with how you want to use it, but mostly if maybe it's like this, you see also it's a ch -ch -ch. or you can play it. It depends with how you want to use it. Would you like to listen one last piece to just make a power? Okay. Yeah. Only Rio. Okay, uh, there, there's something that, okay, there's something that they were talking about, flamenco, and the rhythm from Zimbabwe is also similar. Because um, we have something like, it will be counting one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Then you will find out from that uh, rhythm they'll be clapping like. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, um, I'll, I'll, for now, I'll combine the two questions that he asked. You said um, for flamenco, so you, you clap that. And then I'll play one, two, three, one, and something, just a demonstration. So,
So, uh, this rhythm is like someone is counting in four, another one is counting in three, the other one is counting double time. You see. So, if for uh, for example, other one is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, other one is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe this one. The other one is counting half the time of that one. And also, it happens that if it's like that, that's the basic, but it doesn't end there. Because someone maybe can check this one. And not start with. Is one of them. So, so what when you listen it will be like calling with me. But uh, uh, around those those three times. 